birthday Leos. This is your monthly reading for August 2022 and I wanted to come and give you messages not only to say happy birthday but it's time to celebrate you. So let's get into the reading and see um, what comes up for you. Now this is a general reading uh, so take what resonates with you um, but yeah let's let's jump into the cards and, and see what happens. All right so straight away I feel like not enough of you are celebrating yourself this month. I can feel like it's like oh it's just another birthday but I'm here to say spirit wants you to celebrate you. So whatever that is and it doesn't need to be with other people if you choose not to which is not like you. You like to be around people um, but if you choose this year that you just want to have some space to yourself at least do it with a donut. <laughs> at least do it with a piece of cake. You know what I mean like celebrate you in a way that you wouldn't usually. I know that's the first thing. All right, so let's see what's happening with you guys. Huh, we get the hermit energy straight away. Um, the high priestess and, oh, looks like queen energy. Okay, okay. So this is not a gender specific reading. It's just um, a message for you for the month ahead. So, straight away we get the hermit energy and it says time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude so this is the hermit card so you can just take a look at that now straight away it's very interesting because what uh, spirit just showed me um, you you may not be seeking out people it's almost like you want to be in your own energy but and, and that's okay that is completely safe to do for you to be um you know celebrating in your own time but uh, there's something about you you're almost moving through whether this is a really significant birthday it, it feels as if you're either going through something big like a 40th 50th 60th 21st that type of energy um and and you may not have been able to through the last couple of years celebrate a important milestone it's almost like you're just over it now um, but I really am getting the sense that it's time that you do celebrate you um, and usually your personality doesn't mind a little bit of attention you know you, you, you thrive off that it's like you, you step into your power when people are around almost you know giving you a little bit of love and attention but this year it's a little bit different you've 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 grown into uh, you've just got a new perspective on things it's almost like you've got a new perspective and it's not a bad thing it's actually growth but know that you can still bring people in with this so it feels like if you were to do a celebration this year it would be different people that you would invite from last year. So a lot has happened with friendships in the last 12 months for you, um, relationships. And it's almost like you're like, oh, forget it. I, I can't be bothered. I'm throwing my hands up. And I don't want that to be necessarily your truth okay um, because people do fall away for very good reason um, we don't vibrate the same and we you know travel on our journey of life differently and it's almost like dawned on you recently that the people that were there aren't there as much and it's not a bad thing so don't look at it negatively because I feel like you are it's, it's like you're getting your head in a bit of a funk I guess the word is that comes to mind so just um, have your space that's fine but don't stay there and one of my beautiful friends always says to me you know it's okay to unpack your shit but don't unpack your shit and live there <laughs> so you know go through what you're going through at the moment but it doesn't necessarily have to be your reality for the long term okay um, the next, <clears throat> they're both saying meditation, the hermit and the high priestess, uh, high priestess. The card here talks about going inward and, and meditating. So you're really coming into your own. You're really coming into the real, you know, the real Leo, the, the lion of the jungle. You're the king of the jungle. The, you, you really do... Uh, you really do have those leadership qualities um, but you are reassessing you're developing your intuition you're, you're um, 
reassessing situations and it's a really beautiful time through the month of August for, um, you know, it's like you're throwing up all the glitter of all the possibilities and, and just sitting back and watching where everything falls. You know, let the chips fall where they may type of, type of energy. <clears throat> So you're actually relinquishing your control for the first time in a while um, and that's uncharted waters for you. And I really want to say well done because you've always got the reins pulled a little tight, you know, you know where to direct your horse that you may be riding. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying all these weird things but that's what's coming to me so hopefully this resonates um, for you, with you. Um, so yeah, it's time that you just sit back and really trust yourself, trust your gut, trust the journey that you've been on because this month ahead, you're going to find new relationships, new conversations. Um, and it might very well be with the same people, but new levels of relationship. Now I know in my life, I've pulled away from people and then just sorted my stuff out and then come back. And in that coming back, you find that your relationship's on a different level. And there's a bit of the reshuffling happening for you at the moment. So you may feel a little out of sorts, but it's not happening to you, it's happening for you. So it's really getting that intuition and trust in the month of August, because it's really happening. I feel like the third week of August, there'll be someone coming into your life or something that happens within your life that will really set you up for your future. Um, so that will mean different things for everybody, but it's it's like a uh, an event or a conversation or someone will walk into your life where things will change from that point. You'll realize what's happened um, has happened for a reason. It'll just make sense. There'll be this moment of clarity and, and what they're giving me is the third week of August. So look out for that. Um, and the third card that I get, I need to show you this one. It's beautiful. It's just, you know, a beautiful queen sitting on her throne. She's got the beautiful cat just sitting on her lap. Um, and, and she's quite content. Um, again, not a gender specific reading, but know that with just taking that solitude and that time out to reassess what you truly want, you're going to feel so much more in your power by the end of August. And you know, just getting that self-belief and backing yourself because there's a few things that have come out of your mouth of late that isn't in line with your beliefs. So it's almost like you've spoken before you've thought or somebody else has done that to you, either way. And it's been a bit of a breakdown of communication. So you've just felt like you've got to pull back even more. So just know that that energy is settling and, and moving through the month of August, you're going to be able to, you know, have the chips fall where they lay. So things will be a bit more clear. You'll have that moment of clarity in the third week. By the end of the month, you'll be back into your beautiful power that you sit in most the time, but you have been very doubtful of yourself. But make sure through the month also that you um, are taking the downtime. You know, you're really having that space where you're doing, you know, work, rest and play. Um, work, rest and play. It needs to be a beautiful balance because if not, you will find yourself um, being a bit more irritated than usual um, and, and saying things that are out of line or, you know, they don't match up with the, with the event that's happening at the time. So make sure you're having plenty of rest uh, when you you need, listen to your body, really switch on to what you need because it's your month. It, it's your um, season to really celebrate you and you're allowed to do it without feeling, you know, an obligation to others or, you know, that, that type of energy. Um, so that's, that's what's happening for you in August. It's a really beautiful month to celebrate you, to let yourself, but with balance. So, you know, if you have that extra wine, make sure you have that extra glass of water. You know, those type of little things will really make a difference. All right, so let's just pull one more card just to wrap it all up for you. Happy birthday to you. The song that's coming through make sure somebody sings happy birthday to you and if you really feel like you're a burden this month i don't know why i'm getting this because it's not usually your energy um snap out of it the spirit just says snap out of it um and let the community in let the people in let the celebration now this is gorgeous it's a community card so 
you know, have your downtime at the start of the month, but make sure, um, you know, by the second week you're you're getting amongst it. You know, you're you're inviting people over and saying yes to invitations. If people want to celebrate you, let them let them because you usually do but this month for some reason it feels a little bit skewy and it doesn't have to be happy birthday have a beautiful august and please like subscribe share all those beautiful youtube things it helps the algorithms which is something that um, i'm just learning about really there's a lot of that sort of stuff going on so please be kind to yourself especially yourself and others take care peace out